Hello, Blake Rudis here with Everyday HDR and HDRinsider.com, and today I want to talk about hotkeys in Photoshop because hotkeys in Photoshop are really cool. You can do some really awesome things with hotkeys in Photoshop because you can really speed up your workflow, and sometimes you can unlock some things that you wouldn't normally be able to unlock by using hotkeys. Now, I'm going to be, as I go through this tutorial, I'm going to be using the hotkeys for a PC. So if I say the word control, and you are a Mac user, that means command. If I say the word alt, that is option for you as a Mac user. I don't want to keep saying the same thing back and forth because I just tried recording this tutorial, saying it for both, and I got tongue-tied. So I'm just gonna do it as a PC user, and if you are a Mac user, just know that if I say control, that means command, or alt, that means option. Got it? Cool. Okay, so what I was doing was I was actually trying to put together a tutorial about an effect uh, in Photoshop for today's tutorial. But as I was doing that, I started running through some hotkeys and I started to get really frustrated with hotkeys. And then I found something really cool with hotkeys. So that's what I'm going to show you now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple things with hotkeys. So if I draw a bunch of little dots all over this and I press Control Z, Control Z will move back. But if I keep pressing Control, I have control held down and I keep pressing Z, it doesn't continue to go back through my palette. You would think it would keep undoing, but it doesn't. You need the step backwards. So that's control alt Z will step you backwards. So if you notice that certain hotkeys do certain things when you press control, like control J will duplicate the layer. Control J, we've duplicated the layer. Now let's press control alt J and see what happens. Oh, that makes a new layer. So we'll say, okay, it makes a new layer that gives us the ability to change the name. So control alt and L will give us levels. Um, there's a bunch of different hotkeys here. And actually what I was doing was I pressed control L to go to levels. And I said, okay, that's interesting. Let's try control alt L still brought up levels. Let's try control shift L. Well, if you look in my history palette, it does auto tone. So you see, I just started making things up. I said, well, if control does this and shift does that and alt does this, what happens when I do control shift this or control alt that? And you'd be surprised what you can come up with. So then I looked at control M because control M, if we press control M or control alt M, it will bring up our curves palette. Sometimes just regular control M will, sometimes just control alt M will bring up our curves adjustment. So I said, well, if that is the if I press Control Alt Shift and L, that gives me an auto tone. Control Shift Alt L, auto contrast. All right. So now let's try Control Shift Alt and M. And this is where I found something really cool. It says Keyboard Shortcuts and Menus. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't really want to be in here because if I do something wrong, I'm going to mess everything up. And then I said, well, wait a second. This is actually pretty cool. Let me see what's here. So if I went to Keyboard Shortcuts and click keyboard shortcuts, you can actually see every single shortcut here for Photoshop. So file, all your shortcuts for file, control N, new, control O, open, browse and bridge, alt control O. Did you know that one? I mean, it's some really cool stuff here. So if you go to edit, control Z, that's undo. I never knew there was a control shift Z for stepping forward. I had only known of control alt Z for stepping backwards. See how pretty pretty uh, interesting this can get when uh, you start digging deep in here. Uh, there's paste, control V, we know that one. That's, that's pretty much standard throughout all programs. Um, but one of the things that I really thought was interesting here is that you can look at the keyboard shortcuts for just about any one of these if you want to. You can keep going through here, or you can go to where it says menus. And in menus, you get all these menus that are up here. So we look, there's file, there's file, there's edit, there's edit, there's image, there's image. That's pretty interesting. So let's go to image and then let's look at mode. Now, one of the things that I, I relatively often do is I look for RGB mode. So actually, let me go ahead and just look at RGB mode. Now you see there's a visibility eyeball here. If I took the visibility off on RGB mode and let's say CMYK just for fun and press OK, if I go to image and go to mode, guess what? There is no RGB and there's no CMYK there. I can no longer see it. 
because I didn't make it visible to myself. So if you have a friend that uses Photoshop a lot or you're in the office and you work with a bunch of graphic designers and you really want to mess up their day, go ahead and uh, go into the Control Shift Alt M. It's quite the hand combination. And you can turn the visibility off on almost everything in Photoshop, and that would be kind of fun. But what I'm going to do is, right here it says RGB color. Look right here, it says color. I can actually turn this to, let's say, the color red, because I do use RGB a lot. So if I press OK, and now I go to image and go to mode, guess what? RGB is now highlighted in red. So that means that as I'm doing my editing and I'm doing these image mode things, sometimes you get caught up and, and you don't have your, 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 you know, your brain matching up with your eyes and it takes you a little while to find some things. You can go in here and you can colorize the things that you use most. So you go to RGB, you can colorize that. Let's go to window, because in window, I, I, I use actions a lot in, uh, in a lot of the things that I say as I go through this. So if I press Control, Shift, Alt, and M, and then I go down here to where it says window, I can find the word actions right here and change that to orange. Press OK. So when I go to window, look. My actions are highlighted in orange. This is so cool. You know, I've been using Photoshop for like 15 years, and I never knew this was possible. Really, I know, and maybe it wasn't possible in previous versions, but I really, I just stumbled on this not even 15 minutes before recording this, and I think it's one of the coolest things in the world. Now, check this out. If I press Control, Shift, Alt, and M to get back into there, let's say I go back to where it says Keyboard Shortcuts, and here there's a button that says Summarize. If I press Summarize, it will ask me, how do you want to save this? I'm going to save it just as Photoshop defaults.htm. I'm going to save that to my desktop. Press save. Yes, I want to replace it even though it already exists. Now in Notepad, it's going to bring up this uh, Photoshop defaults.htm file. So if you're not comfortable with HTM, which I'm not comfortable with HTM and HTML, I've been building my blog for about four years, but when it comes to uh, the text editor in WordPress, man, um, I can do some things, but I'm not very good with it. But I do know this. I do know that if I have HTML code, I can bring it into my website. So I'm going to press Control A here, and then press Control C for copy. I'm going to go right in here to a new post that I have set up in on Everyday HDR, and in the text version, I'm going to click Control V for paste. Now, it's going to be a very long list. So if I go to visual, look what happens here. I get an actual visual list of every single hotkey that's right here in Photoshop. That's pretty neat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thin this out. I'm going to take everything out of here that is not, um, that doesn't have a hotkey and just delete it. So this will be a shortened version of all the hotkeys that exist in Photoshop. So you can access this. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the link. If you're watching this from YouTube, I'll put the link in the bottom of the description of the YouTube uh, channel here so you know exactly um, where to go to get this. But that's pretty cool. We have all of our uh, Photoshop hotkeys right here in a one single rundown, uh, so they're all accessible. But we can also go in there, and this is the other cool thing about this, is that when you're in there, let's say you wanted to change the hotkey for, uh, let's go to hotkeys, let's say you want to change the hotkey for a, a new uh, document. Instead of Control N, you can make this whatever you wanted it to. So you could change it to uh, Control Alt Shift N if you wanted to. You could change that to that so that that's your new hotkey. But what it's going to say is the Alt key is already in use with another command. If accepted, functionality and shortcuts will be removed from one or more commands. So basically what it means is that if you make a duplicate um, shortcut or hotkey to something, uh, Photoshop's not going to like it too much. So I wouldn't do too much with... Uh, with messing around with that. Now if you do, if you do accept that, um, it's going to say right here, this is the set fo Photoshop defaults modified. Now if you change this to Photoshop defaults, that will change everything back to the default setting that you had before. So you won't be losing any of that information. 
All right, so that's a rundown on not just what the shortcuts are, but how you can change those shortcuts and how you can colorize some of the things in Photoshop to make it easier for you uh, to maybe find something that you use quite often in your menus, but you want to have quick access to. Instead of using the shortcut or the hotkey, you can just go up to your menu, you can see something, you can colorize it, and you can be done. All right, again, my name is Blake Rudis with Everyday HDR and HDRinsider.com. You can go to the website. The link will be right there in the description as to where all of these hotkeys will be on EverydayHDR.com. If you like this, please comment, share. If you found something in your workflow as you were going through, you accidentally did some kind of hotkey in Photoshop and it came up with something cool, go ahead and share it with us so that we can all see that. Maybe it can help us speed up our workflow.